Okay, so you should have your animation um, going. Here's mine here. But now what we want to do is we want to add our explanation about what's going on in this animation. So to do that, we're going to create a second sprite. Um, so to create a second sprite, you click on Add New Turtle Sprite. There's my sprite. Now, obviously, I need to add some costumes into here. What I do with my explanations is I created them in um, Google Draw. And I like Google Draw because it automatically comes with a transparent background. You can insert shapes like so and give them different background colors. And then you just double click in here and you start typing your text. And you've got the you know fonts that you can play with, make it the heights, uh, the font size that you want. Make sure it's in the center, and then um, you would obviously I'd want to get rid of my old one here if I wanted this one to be my new one. You just want to make sure you download as a PNG so you'll continue to get your transparent background. So once you have um, your explanation, so you should have six explanations for this project, then you're going to bring them into this new sprite that you just created. And um, you can either do file import uh, and import it here, or you can drag and drop them, which is what I think I'm going to try to do. Yeah, here are my explanations. So I'm going to drag and drop them. So then we need to get them to play. Oh, also, if you see my explanation is um, lopsided, there's right here this arrow, only face left, right. Click that, and that'll fix it. And then kind of put your explanation where you'd like it to show up. Drag it there. Okay, and then I want it to show up. Oh, I'm going to put these in a different order. That's my first one. That's my second one. So how do I get them to show up? Well, let's go to scripts first. You're going to go to control. And um, you're going to go to, you need a when I receive. So I have two explanations. You're going to need um, six of these. And you're also going to want to go to looks and uh, do a switch costume. Oh, I also forgot you also need a when flag clicked. Because remember, when the flag is clicked, we want to hide. And then when um, your first broadcast is received, you're going to do a show. Now we're using something called broadcast in Snap, and this is also true in Scratch. Broadcast doesn't message, doesn't broadcast a message to the user. It actually broadcasts a message um, to the code. So it's like telling one with code, telling one sprite uh, to another sprite, "Hey, this is happening. Now you do this." So we need to go back to our animation sprite and go back to control, and we're going to broadcast a message to that explanation sprite. So I'm going to say new, and I can call it anything I want. I'll call it explain one. So I know that my first explanation, I want to show up right away, because um, that's this part. And it's not until, I'd say, right before 12, in my case, you'll maybe it'll be a different sprite uh, costume for you. But for me, it's right before 12, I want my second explanation to appear. So I will do this. I'll do a new, and I'll be explain two. And I'll put that before costume 12, which is right here. So now I broadcast these messages. So I go to my sprite for the, where the messages are. And I'll say, when I receive explain, then I want to go to that um, costume. And when I receive explain two, then I want to go to the next costume. And if I click flag, it disappears. And if I click space, there it is. I'm a caterpillar. And now I'm a different stage. So that's how you do it. Uh, as always, remember to save your work. Good luck.